Big Daddy here with the second video in his series called Customizing KDE Plasma. So in the first video we looked at application launchers and in this video we're going to look at the panel. So it is an extremely customizable panel. Now by default the only thing that's not default here is the second application launcher which I added. It's actually the application dashboard that I added. But um, you have the task manager, which is, handles all your open windows. You have the system tray, the clock, and the hamburger. Or the settings, whatever you want to call it. I call it the hamburger. So to get to the settings, you can either right-click on the panel anywhere and hit panel options and then panel settings. You can use the shortcut that is shown here or you can just hit the burger which is what I usually do so the first setting you come to is the screen edge so you can hit it at you can leave it at the bottom you can move the panel to the side and all I'm doing is grabbing the screen edge icon and moving it or you can have it at the top which is where I like to have it now the second setting is the height. Now I actually did move that height up. It was like that size, but I moved the height up a little bit too because I like it bigger. Okay. The next setting, well, if you take notice here, you have little lines. On the left, little arrow. On the right, an arrow. And what that does is you can go into more settings and you can be centered you can be left or you can be right so you can actually move the panel to say the right and then what you would do is you would grab the little arrow here and move the panel smaller so now it's positioned to the right you can move it to the left which leaves the space over here or you can leave it centered which leaves space on either side and you can resize this down to as small as whatever you have listed here so if you have the task manager left on here you're not going to be able to resize it too small if you remove the task manager uh, it can go pretty tiny so let's try that let's move remove the task manager and now you see that everything moved over to the left because the task manager is a flexible, uh, basically a flexible spacer. So everything moves over to the left, but we'll fix that real quick. We'll just hit add spacer. And here you see a spacer and we're gonna move it to wherever we want it. Well, actually we'll move it over here. And that pushes everything back over to the right. Now, if you right click, it's already set to flexible size. But you can uncheck this and move it to an exact size that you want. So, got a lot of got a lot of um, options here. So we're going to leave it on set flexible size because that'll push it all the way over to the right. And I'll show you. You can pull these down, and you can okay the top arrow, but also the bottom arrow. So you can pretty much get it where you want it uh, like I said as long as whatever you have in here is not too big to fit in there because at one at one point like I said if you leave the task manager in there at one point it'll stop it won't let you go any smaller but I'm not that's not for me so if you go down here you'll see this maximize panel you just hit it and it puts it back to where it was so going along um, you have the pager that's here which I don't use so I'm going to remove this alright and then you have the clock which I always like in the center of my desktop so I have a panel, uh, panel spacer here and what I need to do is I need to uncheck this flexible size and I'm going to move this spacer so I get my clock directly in the middle 
and then I'm going to add another spacer which be is here and I'm going to put it in between so that will be a flexible size so that will allow this to grow and come back okay so this is a flexible size and this isn't because I'm not going to put anything else here so that clock will stay in the middle so now that I close that my clock is in the middle and all of this is clean and nice like the way I like it so in going on in the more settings you have the visibility of the panel which is always visible auto hide and you can make it so that windows can cover the panel which currently they cannot and you can make it so that windows can go below the panel now I don't use any of these I always use always visible but it's there if you want it you can remove the panel and you can lock the widgets so once you lock the widgets in place they're not they're not going anywhere All right, and as you see the burger is gone as well so that means you don't want to make any more changes this is the way you want it and that way there's no mistakes of and because it is actually pretty easy to make a mistake and remove something you don't want to remove so in order to get back to the settings you right click and you hit unlock widgets okay and that'll give you your burger and your settings back you can leave it that way or you can lock them that's up to you all right um, I showed you the add spacer you can also add more widgets and let's see let's say we want to add a show desktop widget so we double click that and blammo there's our show desktop widget so um, you can also get new widgets this it comes with um, plenty of widgets installed um, but you can hit get new widgets and download download new plasma widgets so I'm not going to download any I'm, it's, it works just like any other uh, KDE uh, theme or icon set that you download you hit install you hit close you come back here and you hit add widgets and your widget will appear now with that said not all the widgets work because I believe I don't know if some widgets are still listed from the KDE 4 version or maybe earlier plasma versions or what but not all of the widgets work uh, maybe they some of them broke when plasma updates um, but yeah so there's plenty of widgets lock lock out and I'll probably do a widget a widget video but so I won't dive deep into it but there's definitely there a lot there to choose from so the next on the list would be the system tray so the system tray is one of the best features about the panel because it has a feature in it that I love that you can't get anywhere else so most desktops have um, like for example cinnamon for the network you can either remove the applet that shows the network or you can you must always have it shown all right well I don't necessarily need to see the network icon because I know when I'm online and when I'm not but I don't want to remove the applet or the icon totally because I may need it at some point so in order to hide these icons without removing them you right click on the arrow and this arrow if you left click brings down stuff that's not necessarily shown right at the moment but if you right click and you hit system tray settings and now I have to drag my window over here you have all kinds of you can remove certain categories of, ic of notifications icons um, these extra items are already added to it if you have a touchpad you can add that to it if you want to add the weather forecast you can add that to it um, the media player actually it, it automatically loads and so does the network a couple of them do so if it picks up something it will automatically grab it all right so under entries you have all of the icons that you would see or have seen so I have NPass installed, which I use as my password manager, but I don't necessarily need to see NPass because all I need it is when I, it has a browser extension, so I don't really need to see the icon for the program. So the only reason I have it in the system tray is because I have it minimized there so I don't have to see it in the task manager setting. 
So I'm going to hide this. So you click on it and you hit hidden. Simple screen recorder I'm going to leave on auto. The auto audio volume I'm going to have shown. Clipboard I'm going to have hidden because I don't need to see the clipboard. Device notifier I'm going to keep hidden. KDE Connect I'm going to keep hidden. Notifications I leave on auto. Uh, printers I don't have a printer installed so I have that hidden. I could probably just turn that off but updates I'm going to leave on auto because it really only shows when there is an update and right now there are updates available. So battery and brightness I'm going to have hidden. Networks I'm going to have hidden and Bluetooth hidden. So once you hit apply if you take notice of this up here boom they're gone and you have a nice clean thing up here so once I stop recording this will be gone and once I update this will be gone and all that will be shown is my volume now I do run Thunderbird and I do have the fire tray add-on installed on Thunderbird so I so it goes into the system tray and that usually I have shown because I want to see if I get new emails and whatnot but that is an uh, and you can still get to these items you just have to click the arrow to get to them and one other feature I wanted to show you was in here in the entries you can set shortcuts to say the network settings you can shortcut to any specific one so I have it set to alt n so I can just then hit alt n and it'll pop down the network just right to the network settings so if you are if, if it's something that you maybe need but don't want to see all the time but want to get a shortcut to it there you go so KDE's panel is really really customizable and the only thing uh, it will switch with your theme so if you switch to a dark theme the panel will switch as well the only thing that this panel does not do that other desktops do is allow you to have a solid color allow you to pick a solid color to make it that you know like in Ubuntu Mate you can um, go into the settings and pick any specific color and make your panel that well in KDE you can't that's it's always boggled my mind that you can't do that because like I said KDE is more customizable than anything and yet it's something as simple as that or I won't say simple because there's a lot of back there's a lot of coding and everything that goes into this and how to make it work and so I don't want to make it I don't want to simplify it oversimplify it but you would think something as simple as making a the panel a solid color of your choice would be automatically in there but it's not so but you know what I usually pick the theme that I want and it goes along well with it whatever theme I pick it changes the panel to that color so that's all that really matters so that's where I keep my panel and in the next video I'm going to show you a alternative to the task manager so I usually use plank and you there is a widget that actually tries to mimic plank but we'll talk about that in the next video so look forward to that and if you have any comments you have any suggestions if I got anything wrong just let me know. Until then, Big Daddy out.